Next, we're going to talk about level of detail calculation, and we'll talk about those first by showing an example. So I'm going to bring all my customers on by name, and then I'm going to bring on order ID, and it's going to add all members, but then I'm going to change order ID from a dimension to a measure, and we have a count distinct. So now we can see each customer and how many orders they have. So let's sort it, and we can see one person has 17 orders, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 people have 13 orders, and it goes on from there. Uh, so what if we wanted to make a visualization that would show how many customers had how many orders, and what number of orders was the most popular? we would need to do a level of detail calculation. So let's clear the workbook. A level of detail calculation allows you to build a visualization and bring on metrics that are at a level that is different from what's shown on the visualization. So in order to do this we need to create a calculated field that will show us the number of orders per customer even though we're not going to have our visualization be per customer. So let's call this orders per customer. And we'll come here, and we're going to use a level of detail calculation called fixed. Now there are two other level of detail calculations, and they are called include and exclude. And you can learn more about those in some of our Simply Learn classes, and if you have any questions, please comment below and we can answer them. So we're going to do it fixed, and you can choose dimensions, and it computes an aggregation using only the specified dimensions. So it will ignore all the other dimensions, and we're going to have it based on customer name. So we're going to have fixed customer name, and we're going to call get account distinct, of order ID. And make sure you close it with your curly bracket, and we have no errors, and we'll hit OK. And this allows us to see number of orders per customer, so let's pull it out. First let's make it a dimension, and then pull it out onto our columns. And now we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 17. So that means we had some customers just order one and some customers order 17 and we had them order everything in between. So if we never had a customer that had nine orders, then nine wouldn't appear in this list. Now we're going to take customer ID or name. Let's do ID because it should be unique. And we'll pull it onto rows and we're going to change it to a measure and it's going to be account distinct. And so now we can see how many customers ordered how many items. So we have our number of orders per customer, which is at the per customer level, even though this visualization is not at the per customer level. There's nowhere in this visualization where we pull on a customer item as a dimension. So let's sort it, biggest to smallest, and we can see that 134 of our customers ordered five items, or had five orders. And so it just five is the most popular, seven is the next most popular, 17 is the least popular, one is relatively unpopular, which is interesting to know. And so you can use this to analyze how many items your customers generally order, and maybe if they have four items, that they are going to order, that perhaps if you made good suggestions you could get them to go up to five. And that's an introduction to level of detail. So let's name this sheet. Level of detail, LOD, orders per customer. Perfect. Now let's make a new sheet and we are going to do an analysis about new customers. So we'll get, call this level of detail, new customer analysis. So this visualization is going to be about customer acquisition over time. 
So when we do things over time, we grab our date and pull it up here. And for a line chart or anything over time, we're going to use these so that it makes an axis instead of just change to line instead of dimensions or something that is not continuous. And then we're going to take our customer ID, pull it onto rows, but let's change it to count distinct customer ID, and now we can see our count of customers on every day. I think day is too low of a level. Let's go at month. So now we can see how many customers made an order during what month. Let's take region and split it out by region. When we click on central, we can see central. Now this is including all customers, but say we only wanted to include a customer when they're making their very first order. So we're only going to include their first order, so we need to create a calculated field. And we want to compare, we'll call it new or existing. And we want to compare their order date per customer to their first order date, the min order date. Nope, order date. And we're going to get this error. It says cannot mix aggregate, which is min, and non-aggregate functions. And what it's saying here is that this order date is at a per row level, since we don't have any aggregation on it, and this order date is at a per visualization level, so it's only going to split up based on the visualization. And it won't let you put those two things together. So we're going to use our level of detail calculation again, and we're going to make this fixed per customer ID, and then we'll do our min order date. So now, instead of trying to return something different based on the visualization, it will always return the min for each customer ID. So, if the order date on the visualization is equal to this order date, if the order date on the visualization is equal to the first order date for that customer, then new else existing end. So when the order date equals the very first order date, that means that it's a new customer making their first order. Otherwise, it's an existing customer because it's no longer their earliest date. Apply. Okay. And now we can take our new field, which is new or existing, drag it onto filters, and we only want new. We'll hit apply. And we can see that we have new customers, but less over time. So, so now we're going to change this count distinct to be a running total, and we can see over time how our new customers are adding up. So it's taking the prior value and adding our new customers, and then at the end we get our total customers for each region. And we can now make this a more, the lowest level, which is day. And you can see places where it like levels out. So we can see we have a lot of new customers and it's increasing, but then here for the region of East, there kind of is a level spot where we're not getting new orders. And that seems to be the same for each of them. So for February of 2014, why were we not getting any new orders? And how come the West region is getting new customers? How come the West region is getting new customers faster? Here, while it's leveling out in the red, it looks like the West region leveled out as well, but picked up sooner and started getting new customers. So this type of analysis will help you view new customers over time. And it's only possible because we were able to do a level of detail calculation here on new or existing that would compare this data at only aggregating the data for the specified dimension. So we were able to grab their minimum order date here. So those are a couple of ways that level of detail calculations can be very helpful.
Thank you for joining us today. For any questions, please visit www.simplylearn.com or post any questions below on the video. Thank you and have a great day. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.